Are you making this big mistake keeping you stuck in the system, lacking freedom, and ultimately turning the goal of a self-sustainable life into another unrealized dream? So let me ask you, are you feeling a bit of shell shock over what has happened in the world since 2020? I mean, we've seen about it all, right? A pandemic, lockdowns, government overreach, supply and food shortages, massive inflation, recession, and we've even seen the media capitalizing on the fear as well. What's worse is that some areas of the world are still subject to these issues. And I'm sure many of us who are on the other side of it are wondering, well, what's next? So it's no surprise that the idea of rebelling from the system and creating a more self-sufficient life is becoming more mainstream. What's interesting is that I am seeing people in mass awakening to the need for personal independence in places that I would have never expected. For example, just a couple of months back, I was on a group call with one of my business coaching mentors and their team, and there were maybe 60 or so people on this Zoom call. And I was picked for the hot seat where I got to ask questions to the coaches. And when I mentioned that I help people grow food, start homesteads, and create sustainable lives, I was blown away uh, with the comments that I saw flooding in. My peers in that group, who are, who are all business people, we're all mentioning how they had been thinking about learning how to start a self-sufficient life. And even if they hadn't, their friends were talking about it. Now, what this suggests to me is that the world's problems have become so blatantly obvious and concerning that they are only going to get to worse that your average person is now thinking about how to transition the way they live their life. But so many of them will prevent themselves from actually making any meaningful change to their lives, and they will keep themselves from having the health, freedom, and happiness that they're craving in a changing world. And maybe you're doing some of the same. Now, let me set the stage a bit before I get into the big mistake that people are making. So, to break free from the system and exit the matrix, the only real way to do that is to create a self-sustainable life, right? And the only way to create a self-sustainable life is to do things like grow food, raise animals, harvest rainwater, and so on, correct? Now, typically, this is called a homestead, of course. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I call my version a modern holistic homestead, which is a homestead anywhere, rural or suburban, that leverages permaculture principles to ensure it's low work, low cost, and it takes little of your energy so that way you can go on with all of your other commitments in life. But... Here's where the mistake that I see people make comes in. I see too many people thinking that to break free of the system, they need to have 100 acres off-grid in the woods without a cell phone, no bank account, growing food, and carving their silverware for dinner that night from a log. But this really isn't the real picture, and it's not even realistic. And this is where people make the mistake in thinking that creating a self-sufficient life is all or nothing, when it's not. It's not binary. The thought that they can't live off-grid in the woods creates a common limiting belief that living a free and sustainable life isn't possible, so they shouldn't even try. Or they get paralyzed, not knowing how to go from having a 9 to 5 and living in suburbia to break free of the system. Now, does that sound familiar to you at all? So then, what do you do to easily correct this mistake? Well, I want you to think about the concept of free living, self-sufficient living, not as binary, yes you have it, or no you don't. Instead, I want you to think of it as degrees of sustainability. It's a spectrum, right? From zero freedom to 100% freedom. And when you put it into a spectrum, all of a sudden, it isn't either about having or not having. It's about identifying where you're at and simply moving the needle a bit. That's it. It's that simple. You can instantly gain more freedom by simply shifting your perspective here as you'll realize that you do have more control over your life than you thought because you'll see your next step is instantly freeing. Now, I recall back in the day living in Denver, having a job, being broke, having no relevant skills whatsoever. I felt very little freedom. But over the course of a number of years, I unknowingly began to move that needle slowly but surely. How? Two things skills and resources. Skills plus resources equals exiting the system. Skills are the things like growing food, preserving, canning, prepping, and harvesting resources like the sun and rain. Now let me ask you, if you knew you had the skills to provide for your basic needs no matter what happened in the world, wouldn't you instantly feel freer, happier, and more capable of controlling your future? Right? 
No one can take skills away from you. And in fact, Warren Buffett said that in a recession, one of the two best things that you can invest your money into is your skills and education. Now, second is resources. This would be things like land, tools, animals, seeds, and even a pantry full of food. Now imagine if you had a month's worth of food stored and a month's worth of water stored. Wouldn't you suddenly feel empowered? I know the feeling, and it feels amazing. But wait, now imagine if you say had six months of food stored, six months of water stored. Wouldn't you suddenly feel even more empowered? Right? It's about degrees of self-sustainability, giving you more and more freedom, allowing you to exit the system further and further. And we simply apply these iterations across all of the pillars of a self-sustainable life. Food, resources, preps, home, land, and income. Now, breaking free from the system isn't about not partaking in it. It's about building a life that is largely unaffected by fluctuations in the system. And it's my opinion that we shouldn't not interact with the system. Instead, we should influence and empower others to create a more self-sustaining life so they too can break free of the system and create a society of people positively contributing to the bettering the world that we live in. So, if you're a person who wants to live a more self-sustainable and free life, simply subscribe to the channel so that way you have the information, tools, and resources that you need to move the needle.